Adatel's 878-700 Reference Drywall Calibrator is extremely versatile. In this video, we will illustrate just one of the many amazing capabilities of this exciting calibrator and show you how to utilize the automatic annealing feature. During normal use and over time, platinum resistance thermometer probes build small amounts of stress and oxidation in the platinum wire. These subtle changes have an impact on the resistance values of the probe, which in turn impacts the measurements they take. By consistently measuring and logging the resistance of the probe with a TPW device, good control can be achieved. However, the resistance will continue to climb if left unchecked. See our triple point of water video to learn more about how Aditel's 878 can help with triple point of water measurements. The annealing process helps to relax the pent up stresses in the platinum wire and burn off oxidation. Through this process, resistance values return to a more normal range as shown in the sample data. Aditel makes annealing and maintaining your reference probes a snap with the ADT 878-700 and its built-in automatic annealing procedure. Some of the key features and benefits include a one-touch annealing procedure, a way to easily maintain temperature reference standards, the 878-700 is quick to temperature, and it is fully self-contained. You can also utilize the ADT 878-700 for many other high temperature calibration needs. To begin, all you will need is the Aditel 878-700 Reference Drywell Calibrator and your reference PRT or PRTs that you would like to anneal. In this case, we will anneal two probes simultaneously. We start by carefully inserting the appropriately sized insert into the 878-700 calibrator. Most all of the available Aditel inserts have standard hole sizes to accommodate typical PRT dimensions. However, other insert styles are available if needed. Place the accompanying heat shield on the top of the calibrator. Carefully insert the PRTs into the calibrator, remembering that PRTs are sensitive to mechanical shock, so handle the probes with great care. Next, we will navigate to the automated annealing procedure. We can create a new procedure by touching the plus button or simply choose an existing procedure. With a quick tap or two of the reference drywall touchscreen, we are off and running. In the first step of the automated process, the 878 will heat to 660 degrees C. Then the 878 will automatically move to an annealing countdown. In this case, the calibrator will anneal for two hours. As we jump ahead in the process, we can see that the 878-700 will move to the final stage of the annealing process and provide a controlled cooling period. Note that it is important to leave the probes in the 878 as it cools to prevent thermally shocking the probes. Once the automated annealing process completes, the 878-700 will display a completion message. When the probes have cooled and it's safe to remove them, remember to handle them with great care as mechanical shock is a major contributor to changes in the sensing element. Now that we have annealed the probes to relieve stress and reduce oxidation, we want to do our best to care for the internal platinum sensing elements by handling them carefully and storing them appropriately. Aditel is making metrology simple with innovative products like the Aditel 878-700 and its automated annealing feature. For more information or videos about this or other great Aditel products, please visit us at aditel.com.